G'day everyone, welcome back. All right, this is, uh, it's a short little interjection video. Right now, we're fitting the new duckboard. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a doicky for it. It's pretty good, um, yeah. Well, actually, to be honest, I haven't finished it yet because it's right there. So hopefully it's pretty good, <laughs> but go and check it out. Um, but right now, we're gonna install the new transducer. Um, so that the transducer I have mentioned before, it's a hard mounted unit to the boat and it's got a Wi-Fi box on it. Now what that Wi-Fi box does is create its own Wi-Fi mesh. And then if you have an Android device, such as a cheap tablet, you can link via Wi-Fi, provided your tablet's got Wi-Fi obviously, to it. And then I'm running Navionics. Now this transducer, which I'll show you, is made by Vexler. So that's the transducer itself. Um, it mounts on the bottom of the boat. Now I've got an extension pole because I'm in the water and I, <laughs> I'm not gonna go drilling holes in my transom while I'm in the water. So I'm gonna cut it to the length and come through and drill up higher above the water line. And then when I get the boat out of the water, I'll fit it properly. So cut this off the length, obviously. But that's what we've got. So transducer, fairly long cable. That mounts near a battery. Like I said, when you switch it on, it creates a Wi-Fi mesh that relays all your depth. Uh, you got depth, contour, and water temperature. Um, all comes back to the tablet um, or your phone. So you can link it to your phone as well. But yeah, that's what that's for there. So, all right, we have to do this now before the duckboard goes on because I'm not going to be able to if I don't do it in that order. So, let's go. All right, so I wallowed that hole out there with the biggest drill I had, and it works, we got it. Cut this, so it's gonna basically go down there, I'm gonna drill it and screw it, oops, sorry, get you in the right spot, screw it above the water line. So yeah, up here we might put three screws in it, and that'll be good, like I said, it is temporary, only because I really don't want to, uh, I don't want to drill holes in the transom under the water. That just seems like a bad idea to me. So, that's what we're doing. On a side note, Drop speed, look at it. Oh, hang on, hang on. One barnacle, and he's gone. There we go. <laughs> it just doesn't stick to it. It wasn't so freaking expensive, I'd do the whole leg in it. Got it. So, so, get muddies or blue? so we're down in here, we're all mounted. Connected up, so I'm gonna. Ooh, we got a light. So that's connected to my isolation power. So when I flick that off, it'll go off. I just went on and downloaded the app. So we'll open her up. See what happens. So I just hot spotted the tablet to my phone. Um, that was how I've got internet on the tablet. Not for marine navigation. Well. Okay. I agree. Agree. There we go. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen here. My lot doesn't doesn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> it helps, but it doesn't pay for it. <laughs> Alright, there's no start. There's a start demo, but no... We go back. Press again to exit. What do we got? Let's go back into Navionics and see if it'll talk to the Navionics. I don't know what app you've got to pull it through. Um... Yeah, all right, let me muck with this for a little bit. I'm gonna try and figure out how to actually get it to talk. Actually, I don't know if my Wi-Fi is, uh, I might have to disconnect. All right, stand by. All righty. So what I was doing wrong was I wasn't going in and actually finding the Wi-Fi signal first. Um, so like I said, it sets up its own Wi-Fi mesh and um, you've got to link to that before you go into the app. As Soon as I went into the Navionics app, found it and just, 
connected straight up and it's beautiful. Um, so we're reading three meters. If we come on that, it'll split screen it. So there's our bottom. Um, you can adjust the angle. I, I'm not sure how, um, but yeah, there we go. So I <laughs> just, I think it's working well, to be honest, so 2.8 meters. We're about to go down this channel on the other side of Bull Island. Bulls Island, sorry. And um, it can get kind of shallow. I mean, we're not too far off. Um, what are we? Oh, we're about an hour, probably two hours off high tide. Um, so, I mean, we've got plenty of water under us, so we're just gonna cruise. Just waiting for Uncle Nerve to untie. Got a snappy for the trip. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna cruise back. Pick up on the mooring. And then I've got one more job for today, um, which I may or may not include in this video. I'll see how I feel when I get over there, but all right. We'll see you over back at the morning. <coughs> oh, I die. All right, well, I uh, forgot to record an outro while I was still on the boat, so sorry about that. But the app and hooked up to the the um, tablet like it is, or the head unit, it's a car stereo head unit, that works fantastically. Um, all the way back over, fantastically. Yeah, let's go with that. All the way back over, it was reading beautiful. Um, gives really clear bottom contour. Uh, don't know if the fish finder part works yet. I'm not, I'm not up on fish finders enough to sort of figure that out, but I'll do some research. Um, I can highly recommend it. Uh, I mean, I brought it full price you know it wasn't sponsored or anything like that i would highly recommend it um even just to your phone i suppose but i mean these days a lot of big boats have got some form of screen in them and if it accepts wi-fi going out especially if you run a navionics um the fact that it overlays on that makes it just fantastic so now that one screen is all my media for the boat i suppose you know stereo all that um it's my navigation so running the Navionic software, um, you can do full, it's full software. So it'll do all your chart plotting, um, speeds, everything like that. Uh, and then now couple that with the transducer, it's a full unit in one. Um, the downside to that, and it hasn't escaped me, the downside to that is that if that one unit fails, I lose everything. So I might have to have a bit of a think as far as backups go, but I mean, the waterways I'm in, I can navigate around them relatively well so that if it fails I can get home without running aground. I know where most of the low spots are. So. But anyway, um, I'm going to finish loading this tinny up or chaining this tinny back up. I'm going to go home. It's been a big day. Um, yeah, like I said, we also fitted the duckboard today um, and I installed a first aid kit too but that wasn't much of a video so I didn't bother filming it but I'll show you another time. But yeah, the duckboard's on, um, and then all that sorted. Just doesn't sound like much work when you say it like that, but anyway, here we are. All right, well, till next time, stay safe, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.